Hi, fifth grade. Today you're working on student book, page five, facts and boxes. If you do not have this page, either the paper version or the digital version pulled up, go ahead and pause the video and find that and press play when you're ready. Number one, to multiply numbers by five, Kaylee first multiplies by 10 and then finds half the product. So when she's doing this, it's saying that she multiplies by 10 and then finds half of that product. And half, we know, means divide by 2. So just so that we have that as a reference. Write an expression with parentheses to show how Kaylee would solve 9 times 5. So remember, her strategy is find, finding something times 5. So rather than multiply 9 by 5, Kaylee would take 9 and multiply it by 10. We got that from above. And then divide by 2. Why that works is because... Um, <laughs> uh, by dividing 10 by 2, that is 5. So the numbers, the values will still come out the same. We're just manipulating how we get there. All right, the next question is, what is nine times five? Um, you could solve this two ways. We could know our math facts, nine times five, or we could solve it using Kaylee's expression. So nine times 10 is 90, and we could half that to get 45. On this one, just knowing the math facts probably would have been best, but that's okay. All right, the next question says, Marshall says he would rather use 10 times 5 to find 9 times 5. Write an expression with the parentheses that uses 10 times 5 to find 9 times 5. So it gives us what to start with, which is 10 times 5. And that's step one, so that's going to go in parentheses. Oops, wrote it wrong. Okay, we want to find out nine times five. So we are one group of five over. So we need to take away a group of five after he were to multiply that. So that is Marshall's expression. His expression would be 10 times five minus five. All right, number two, three and four, you are matching these expressions to the correct box. So we have four layers and recall a layer is the height of a prism in um, our math terms, okay? Cause you're stacking it. Four layers of three by five cubes. So the expression is three times five times four. So we want to look, and if we look, all of these actually have four layers. So that's really not helpful to us. We need to figure out the dimensions of the layers. So three times five or three by five. If you look at A, it has one, two, three by one, two, three, four. That will not work for number two. Okay, and let's label that. So three, one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see what B is. B is one, two, three by one, two. Still won't work for number two. Okay, let's look at C. We have one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five. There's the five. So we could write the letter or you can draw a line all right and we went ahead and already looked at a and b so number three and four are pretty short and sweet to spine number three is a three by two by four well we know that is b 
you wrote it down, it was three by two. And we could connect that also. And then we're left with four has to go with letter A. And we'll connect it to just to show. All right. Moving on. Number five says fill in the dimensions of this box. So in parentheses, it wants us to write the dimensions of each layer. And outside of parentheses, it's the number of layers. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two. So those are the dimensions of the layer or the base. All right, and we know our height is one, two, and that is our layers. Voila. Okay, for number six, this is a math fact, facts practice. So go ahead and pause the video and take a moment and solve these. And once you've solved them or at least attempted them, press play and check your work. All right, so pause and solve, then check your work. All right, you should have attempted the problems for number six. Below are the answers. Hopefully we noticed the patterns. So eight times four was 32, which if you doubled that, four, two, and eight, you got eight times eight, which was 64. So your products were doubled, okay? For the middle two, 12 times 10 and 12 times five, you are halving, all right? And then doubling again, three times seven, seven times six, that three was doubled. And then the last one, we just had to recognize that it was working backwards. All right, great job, and be sure to complete your lessons for today.